Welcome to the premiere of Monday Manor. Each week I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on one of my favorite passages of scripture. Today we begin with Romans chapter 8 and verse 31. The Bible says, reading from the King James, What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? So one of the reasons why this is a favorite of mine is because it says, If God be for us, who can be against us? And I want you to notice that all the people that come against you, all the situations that come against you, all the entities of evil that come against you, none of them combined could combat what God means for you. And if you allow him to be for you, I promise you, no one or nothing can be against you. How many times do we quote the scripture that tells us, no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper? How many people go through situations where sometimes it gets difficult to believe that? But I'm here to tell you, my friends, God is for you. He is never against you. Don't buy into the lie that God is mad with you. And don't let people out there believe that God is mad with them. God is not. The Bible tells us that God in Christ has made oneness with humanity. If ever God was mad, which I don't believe he ever was with us, then Calvary is a proof that he wasn't. Because the Bible tells us that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. You can't be mad with the world and then give them your only. You get what I'm saying? So we need to understand our relationship with God, first of all. And you, I, every believer, and by God's grace, every non-believer who seeks to know and understand these truths, I pray that they will come, that we will come to truly realize that God is for us. And no matter what we do, God will never be not for us. I pray that you take all these things to heart. Happy Monday. And I pray that this manner will fill your soul. God bless.